What baseline lamp are you using at home? Is it a smart one or a stupid one? Let me know in the comments down below. This is my new bedside lamp. I've been scouting for one that matches my room's wide aesthetic and can connect to my smart home system at the same time. I also didn't want a lamp that will break my bank, so I settled for this me bedside lamp too that only costs 159 ringgit. This lamp is capable of producing 16 million colours and has a colour temperature of ranging from 1700 to 6500 K. It can last roughly 11 years with an average usage of 6 hours a day. Safe to say, I only use it as a wood lamp, not my primary light source, so with proper care, this will increase its lifespan. This lamp pairs with the Xiaomi Home app to assess more features such as the delay timer, night light, turning off the light automatically, security settings, and automation. You can adjust brightness by sliding up and down in the app or change the colour altogether by sliding sideways. For flow mode, you can set the colours you want and then the lamp will display them in a smooth flow effect. There's no doubt that there are better smart beside lamps out there. Philips Hue makes some outstanding lamps but the price tag is just too crazy. This Mi Besa Lamp 2 is a compelling choice for anyone looking to set up a smart home. And due to the excellent touch features, I can use it for the most part without having to pull out my smartphone. If you are looking to light up a big area like your living room or dining area, then this lamp alone would not be enough. However, for smaller rooms like your study room, this lamp would work wonder and with great effects. I do wish that it came with built-in battery so it can be portable. Right now, it has to be plugged to a power source all the time so it is very inconvenient whenever I want to shift it. Well, that is pretty much for today. I won't tell you what to do, but if you like this video, you know what to do. Hmm? You know that! I'm Michelle, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!